today i'll have a uh, mic on once we get where we're going and we're kind of settled but today fix the trailer lights on the truck so we're getting ready to load up the z-force and we're gonna head to mommy i have a uh, mud tracks race uh, series races there this weekend uh, that i'm hosting and putting on second race in the series it's supposed to be beautiful beautiful weather this weekend so we should have a great turnout and i'm really excited to to see all the people that came last time. There should be some new people that come out this time as well. We're adding a fifth race and allowing everyone to drop one race so if they miss the first one they can drop that one and still be a contender to win the money and win the, the points. So let's get the Z loaded up at out small me. So this is actually going to be kind of like a hybrid uh, woods race as well. It's about four minutes to get around. It's still utilizing the actual track but it takes off in the woods and there's a nice little track that they've built out there so we're gonna check the track out I'm going to actually just run the track myself we're gonna get into some adjustments with the, the stage 4 Elkas and see if I can notice or feel any different we'll try to test it the best that we can that's it let's get loaded up and get on the road Alright guys, we are here at Maumee Riding Park in Duggar, Indiana. On the other side of my machine here is the track. As most of you know, John Hester, Hester Motorsports, they sent me a set of Hester Edition Stage 4 Elka Racing Shocks. So while we're out here today, we are going to shoot on the track. I only initially got to do one little trail comparison, wasn't able to make any adjustments or anything like that. We're going to make some adjustments on them today. We're just gonna mess with the uh, low speed compression. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with uh, any kind of um, preload or ride height stuff yet. That's uh, still to come as well. But we're gonna make some adjustments. I'm gonna start with them clicked all the way to the left, all the way counterclockwise. Uh, so they'll be in their softest setting. And then we'll probably go somewhere in the middle, um, about 10, and then we'll probably go all the way but we'll figure that out once we uh, once we get to that point. So first things, let's hook the GoPro on. Let's go around the track. Uh, one time so you can kind of see it and know what it's like we won't uh, we won't go super fast or anything this first time um, then we'll pull off we'll make some adjustments we'll run the track we'll make some more adjustments we'll run it again make some more adjustments and run it again here at mommy in order to ride on or practice on the track you must have harnesses and you must have a helmet so I got to grab my helmet out of the truck, mount the GoPro, and we will uh, get started. Okay, so we're going to go around the track uh, initially just one time. Uh, we'll keep it kind of slow just so you can see the layout of the track, make some adjustments. We'll film those adjustments, uh, film the way everything reacts to those adjustments. Then we will do it again, and then we'll do it again. So let's uh, take a trip around the track real quick.
made it around the track and you can kind of see the layout of the track and how uh, how it works and feels we are going to make adjustments to all of the shocks so right up there on the top is a is a like a red knob we're going to turn it all the way to the left open it all the way up that's in its softest position we're going to also do that with this side and we're going to do it with the rears the rear is way back up in there so we're going to open these all soft i'm going to film the actual shocks working then we'll make some adjustments keep on filming If you can visually see a difference or not i can most definitely feel a difference that feels a whole lot better than with it uh completely soft so i can only imagine uh going up the other rest of the way i can only imagine that's going to feel even better so getting ready to do that now we're going to adjust them all the way in so it's the stiffest ride possible all the way clockwise we're going to run it again and film it and see uh if we notice any difference Okay, I apologize for the wind. 16 more clicks is what we had, 16. So 16 more clicks in, let's see what it does.
much more stiff. Um, I don't know how that would translate to, you know, trails or road riding. Uh, trails we're going to find out here shortly. But uh, that just kind of gives you a little overview. I can definitely feel the difference. Um, I did run this track uh, just a couple practice times with my, uh, my factory shocks. And these uh, definitely feel a lot better. I'm actually thinking about hopping in one of these races and see what happens. Well, and there you have it, guys. First series of tests that we're doing out here. I know it's very crude and it's pretty much just visual, but I can tell you, you know, I know this machine inside and out. I know, I know how it feels. I know how it turns. I know how it takes bumps. I know how it does all of that. And I'm telling you that the difference that I feel when I made the adjustments on the factory shocks, I didn't really feel the difference all that much. These, I can definitely 100% feel the difference. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of people ask me how I shoot my video, so we might, uh, might do one of those while we're out here too. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the new subscribers. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment down below. Lots of cool stuff coming. Everything from out here today, plus the races this weekend. And then we got a bunch of more cool stuff coming up. So I uh, can't thank you guys enough. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.